The NGMN, or Next Generation Mobile Networks Alliance, has just held its most recent NGMN forum in Stockholm, with member operator Tally2 acting as the host. So what were the key takeaways from the forum? Well, to find out, I'm talking today with Tally2's CTIO, Yogesh Malik. Yogesh, thanks very much for joining us again. Good to see you. Um, so uh, what were the big talking points during the, the forum discussions? What were the big takeaways? Yeah, uh, thank you. Thank you for uh, having me on. Um, it was a great pleasure to host the meeting. And the main points, though looking into the future, were also addressing the issues we are facing today. Energy, how do we become more efficient? And on top of that, the very, very big topic was also how do we get prepared for the future in terms of workforce skill set and reskilling how can we upskill reskill ourselves for the new age so i think those were the topics uh, in, in a broad setting uh, obviously energy efficiency is a massive topic across the industry at the moment um, were, were there any thoughts shared about the, the the best way to to be more energy efficient for the for the mobile operators were there any sort of new angles discussed during the forum yeah, it is. Uh, well, we have a variety and a large spectrum of operators, operators from different parts of the world having different challenges, whether green energy is available or not. But uh, focus on network sharing, focus on site design, focus on AI ML and production, uh, focus on scaling and being able to use those algorithms constructively across the value chain of the network, across the stack of the network. I think that was a very big takeaway as well, that it is not just one solution, but we'll need to, depending upon the geography, be able to share our learnings and become better every single day. Uh, and I see that in Tele2 also, we learned a lot uh, with my counterparts uh, from different parts in Europe and Asia and North America, it became very clear that while we are doing a lot of stuff, we can share and we can improvise our go-to-market, if you may, in terms of AI and ML usage. I think that was a very big takeaway for me. Yes, uh, is, there's, there's a, a, a lot of greater use of these kind of uh, software-based intelligent tools uh, for, for more proactive control of the network. Do you think things have, uh, are really advancing there? Have we moved on from some of the tools that have been deployed in the past few years? Are we, are we entering a new era of, uh, sort of radio access network intelligence? I think so. I think so. Uh, what will also matter is, are we able to address the legacy as well? So for operators having 2G, 3G, uh, which are consuming a lot of energy, are we able to address the legacy? Are we able to modernize the stack? And are we able to, the way you mentioned software, put that into action and become self-healing to use the sleep modes even better? So you mentioned network sharing there. I mean, to what extent is this uh, now happening between the operators? Uh, we know there's been a lot of uh, sharing in, in the mobile towers, but is this now extending into the active network elements as well? Actually, yes. Um, I think towers, as you rightly say, they have become now a norm. Uh, so passive sharing, okay. I think active sharing is picking up and in Tele2, we are in a unique position. We share our 3G network and we share our 2G, 4G network. Uh, sharing of 3G would be sunset, while 2G, 4G, we are uh, overlaying 5G on top, top, which means we'll have a full new stack. Uh, active sharing will help us introduce new models to become much more energy efficient by design. So I think that is a great thing of network sharing. And earlier it would be done in the rural areas. And now uh, for us, we have been doing it all across urban, suburban, rural areas, all across Sweden. And I think I, I see that more and more operators are discussing that this is actually a fundamental design to be picked on if we have to address networks in the future. 
And you also mentioned there that there was a lot of discussion as well uh, around the, the skill sets and the, the change that's required uh, in the human resources at the operators. Uh, were there any key takeaways from, from that point of view? And, you know, one of the big topics right now is around um, uh, tools such as chat GPT and bringing those in to, to help with the automation aspects. Uh, was generative AI a topic discussed during this forum? AI in general was discussed when it came to skill set it was very much around understanding cloud native. What is really cloud native? Because you, we can call ourselves cloud native, but to become cloud native and to work in that modus operandi takes a different skill set, both in DevOps area, but also in design and architecture area. And so I think that was the topic, generative AI versus analytical. I think there is a distance when we come towards enterprise segments, co-working can help with the generative AI. Uh, I think there are a few operators in that area, but still a lot of work to be done on cloud native itself. Uh, no, absolutely. We're, we're still in the early stages of cloud native uh, in the telecom sector. Um, uh, and then in terms of the workforces, uh, I mean, there's been a lot of talk uh, in the past year or so about how telcos are evolving to become tech codes and, and that involves a change in, in the skill sets they have. Um, is that the kind of thing that was being discussed during the forum? Is there a, a shift towards uh, hiring different people with different types of skill sets across the NGMN membership? Uh, we have partners and uh, the forum not only included the operators but the partners as well like Apple, like Nokia, IBM, others. And uh, so definitely there is an ecosystem around us. And myself, I'm a radio engineer. So once we were always tech co in a way, it became much focused on telecommunications. But where we are going with a connected society, I think it will be very important to go back to the basics and go into those engineering areas where artificial intelligence is becoming very, very key where cloud is becoming key, where compute is becoming key, where quantum is becoming key. Uh, so I think it's beyond transmission and beyond radio into compute and end-to-end -end models which can yield better customer experience and allow customer to do troubleshooting by themselves. Okay, yeah, so a, a change in the uh, operating model there. And it, is there a sense that the uh, the, the teams already at the, uh, the mobile operators, that they can be uh, sort of upskilled and, and learn new processes? Or is it a case of having to bring in additional uh, and new members of staff? I think it would be a mix of both. Uh, I think in areas where it is very close to radio, upskilling will be needed. Uh, where there are new competencies in cloud and compute, uh, I think those need to be either with the partner ecosystem or to be hiring new skills and then how to inculcate those new skills into production so that uh, there is a joint learning going on and knowledge sharing across different operators and actually across boundaries of geographies where knowledge sharing can happen in a much more uh, open manner also like regional bases and others. Yes, this knowledge sharing is becoming uh, really vital for the, the sector now. And we're starting to see more of it as well. So uh, just finally, from, from the Tele2 perspective, uh, what kind of advances or changes would you like to see uh, in the telecom sector, say, in, in the coming year that would help not only Tele2, but, but your peers in the mobile industry as well? Now, as uh, Tele2, um we have a clear purpose and the purpose is to enable a society with unlimited possibilities now what does that really mean and we have our proof points for our midterm ambition to become a leading telco and and for us superior customer experience is a great proof point employee engagement is a great proof point leading in sustainability not only scope one scope two but going all the way to scope three and also 
to make sure that we are efficiently planning our CAPEX, OPEX, so that we can be uh, progressing ahead uh, in the industry. Uh, and I think uh, here sharing uh, is actually, uh, in a way, going to take us much farther. And, and we believe that uh, we, we love to share and we love to learn uh, at the same time. So it, it resonates very well. Okay, that's a great message to, to end on. And of course, Telecom TV is here as well to help uh, share the insights from the industry and be part of that process as well. So, uh, Yogesh, great to talk to you again today. Uh, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you very much.